Hi. Um, <clears throat> you know the, the German medals that I had a few videos ago that I bought in one lot? Well, I've swapped them. Um, as you know from watching the videos, my other interest is German helmets of one description or another, particularly those that have a good history about them. Well, last night, and only last night, I swapped the German medals that I had that I got the other week for this. This is a really nice model 1915 German World War I pickle hull helmet. It's the 1915 model because it lacks the spike. There's a blank off plate where the spike was. Now, the problem with the pickle hull was because it had the spike on the top, when the German soldier was about to raise his head above the parapet of a trench, an enemy would watch for the spike coming up from the side of the trench and he would take aim and as the German popped his head up, bang, he would shoot him. So in 1915, which was the last year of introduction for the pickle hull, all the pickle halves were issued without spikes on them. What's nice about this one is the, the badge and the top uh, finished in a olive green paint as opposed to a factory uh, chemical grey colour. So that, that's period to this. Another thing, they're missing both cockades to both sides. Cockade is a circular piece of stamp metal. On one side it will be in the black and white of Imperial Germany. The other side would denote the uh, the county or the the area that the guy was from. Problem with these were because they were in bright colours, they proved a, an aiming point, so they were removed. And also the chin stops were removed, so it's not really a damaged helmet. Um, another nice thing about this, as I've said, helmets that have a history are very nice, is that this one is regimentally stamped to the 115th Infantry Regiment, and it's also been reissued. It's been a, a battlefield recovered item that's been refurbished back in Germany and been sent back out to the front again. And another nice point about it is this metal strap that runs down the back this one still retains the original movable opening vent which opens and closes now on later models that was either omitted or those that had opening and closing vents like this one it was permanently sealed shut so basically all that does you open it it has a direct hole leading down to the helmet to vent the the head Stops the helmet, stops the helmet rotten out of me. So this is quite a nice piece. Um, historically, it was issued first of all to a German soldier, 1915, in the 115th Infantry Regiment. 115th Infantry Regiment was raised in 1915, so this would have been a brand new helmet issued to the guy. And um, then something happened to him. The helmet was recovered from the battlefield by the Germans, sent back to Germany refurbished and reissued back out again and then it was lost for a final time was picked up by a British soldier brought back to England he then emigrated to America where he eventually died his family put it on the American version of eBay about four weeks ago it was bought and came back to England again so it's been all the way around and back again so that's quite a nice piece it's all original it's never been messed with. I don't know if you can see the inside there, because it's, it's, pre it's pretty murky outside, so there's not much light coming in. Because it's been raining for the bulk of the day. The weather's finally broke in England. So what I'll do is I'll dismount that and we'll take a closer look at it. So I'll put this down here and we'll take this off. Stay with me a second. Right. 1915. German pickle halb. Fittings are in olive drab painted metal. On the back we've got this really nice vent that opens and it closes like that. But what is nice about it is on the inside when the original owner lost it for whatever reason and it was recovered from the battlefield before it was reissued the original owner's name has been scrubbed out, that's where it was written. The helmet's been refurbished 
if we look inside we can't really see it but down no we're not, we're not we're not going to be able to pick it up i'll see if i can get it in the light a bit maybe yes no no it, it's not going to pick it up but down there there's some reinforcing metal grommets metal plate it's had a repair done to the back and unusually it's been reissued and sent back out back to the front in 1917 so two years after the Germans adopted a proper steel helmet pickle halbs were being refurbished and sent out to the front line and the reason why this one survived is as it was issued in 1917 again the guy probably thought I'm not accepting it, I'll just wear my normal steel helmet. So he probably put it to one side and it was captured. Down there, which you can barely see, it's size stamped in ink, 54. And over here, again you can barely see it, there's a square with the number 115 in it, which you can actually see that. 115, 115th Infantry Regiment. So that is quite a nice thing. Cockades are missing from both sides, as is the chin strap. And like I said, the pickle hard piece where the spike was been blanked off as per regulations. And 1915 was the last year that the pickle hard was issued. But as you've seen from this example, 1917 date inside this one was reissued after it was recovered from the battlefield. And it was lost for the last time souvenired by a British soldier who brought it back to England then he emigrated to America took it with him it stayed there for many years till he died his family sold some of his stuff on the American version of eBay and about three four weeks ago this was purchased and it's now back in England again so that's a really nice piece it's a standard 1915 pattern helmet. There's nothing fancy about the outside. The good point is, it's got the working air vent on the back. But what makes it what it is, all that bit special, is it's regimentally stamped and that really nice 1917 date. So there are people out there who say the Germans weren't issued pickle hobs in 1917. Well, there you have it. That's a factory reissue stamp. That states quite clearly that this pickle halb was sent back out to the front line in 1917. Two years after the Germans got a proper steel helmet. They still had pickle halbs in the front line. So that's a really nice piece of kit. So, until the next video, we'll see what else we can do. Bye for now.